Hey everybody, Chef Ben here from Spice Field Kitchen. Today we're going to talk about pasting garlic. It's one of the ways that we build a lot of flavor into our dishes at Spice and one of the fundamental ways that we teach you to cook and build more flavor in your home kitchen. So, you've probably heard this before, but garlic is the basis of flavor when it comes to savory cuisine. So this is the garlic we grew on the farm. I've already peeled it back and now you'll notice we have these little root ends on it. We're going to cut these root ends away. Really, really fibrous and super, super funky. There's a lot of uh, a lot of offensive flavors in those root ends on garlic. So now we've just got our garlic cloves. We're just going to do our rock and chop using the claw method. So you can see that my knuckles are held back from this a little bit, but contacting the side of the blade. Now we're just going to get this into enough slices that we can expose the flesh of this garlic to salt, right? So salt is the only rock that we eat. It's incredibly abrasive and it does multiple things. Pile some salt on top of this garlic. One of those things that it does is it draws moisture out from the product. So now that we've got some salted garlic here, we're going to chop it up into some smaller pieces and mixing that salt back in with the garlic all the time, keeping it into one centralized pile. And now when we start to get it into small enough pieces like this, now we can start to use the side of our knife and make a paste on our cutting board, okay? So I'll get that into a, a kind of flat area and then once again, I'll run my knife back over it, clean off the side of the blade, being careful not to cut ourselves. And now we're going back in and I'm dragging this way and then pushing this way. And when I do that, I lift up the blade of the cutting edge of my knife and drag it across the garlic. Now I lift up the spine of my knife and drag it back across the garlic. So blade up, spine up, blade up, spine up. And you can see how this garlic is becoming juicy right under the blade of our knife that would not have happened this quickly if we were just cutting it, okay? So now I like to do this until, as I tell people, the garlic sticks to the side of your knife effortlessly. Now you can see your garlic paste is sticking to the side of your chef knife because of the juices and oils brought out by the introduction of salt. Now you know how to make a garlic paste using nothing more than your chef knife and a cutting board and a little bit of salt. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you on our next tutorial video.